Hey you guys, so today's video I'm going to show you how to do watercolor nails. You probably remember in like elementary school, you know, uh, painting with the watercolors and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is going to be the same concept, only instead of painting onto a piece of paper, you're going to be painting on your nails. And instead of using water-based paints, you're going to use nail polish. And instead of using water, you're going to use nail polish remover or acetone. There are a couple things that I forgot to mention in the actual tutorial itself. Um, you're going to want to do two coats of a base color. You can use any color you want, but I do recommend using a white. The white is just going to make any polish that you put on top of it pop. But like I said, you can use any color you want to. And then once those two uh, coats of your base color dry, then you want to do two coats of a top coat. And that's just going to protect your base coat because you do not want the acetone or the nail polish remover manipulating your base color. So if you guys want to see how to do this watercolor nail, then go ahead and keep watching. Hey guys, so believe it or not, there's only one step you need to follow in order to achieve this look on your nails. And all you have to do is put a drop of nail polish onto your nail. And with a brush saturated in acetone or nail polish remover, um, dab the brush into the drop of polish and begin distributing the polish um, over the entire surface of the nail. And that is all there is to this manicure. You're just going to repeat the same exact thing on all five of your nails. And you're going to do that with every polish color that you have chosen for this design. Believe it or not, as easy as this nail design is, there is actually something you can do that can totally screw this nail design up. When your brush is saturated in your acetone or your nail polish remover, you want to make sure that you work quickly and you don't leave the brush sitting on your nail in one spot for a long period of time. The acetone will eat your top coat if you do that. And when it eats your top coat, that means that it is reaching your base color also, which could cause balding in your design, which will look really bad because then you'll see your nail underneath and it just kind of defeats the purpose. So just make sure that you guys work really fast um, when you do this and you guys will be fine. Also, I want to say through trial and error, I have learned that I prefer using a maximum of three nail polishes for this design, and actually, I don't use anything less than three either. I've learned that if I use any more than three polishes, that the colors just kind of muddy together, and it just forms this really ugly brown color. So, three polishes work best, in my opinion, but you guys, can do whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!